like a fit. <laughs> <laughs> I got that on the camera too. Hey everyone, I uh, had an incredible day on the water today. Timing was uh, pretty good, actually out of this world. Um, we timed it so that the sand eels and a whole ton of stripers moved into the area. And it made it great for light tackle fishing and fly fishing. All the fish were in the top of the water column. Didn't matter how depth of what deep the water was, um, the fish were everywhere. So sorry about the water on the camera. Uh, didn't realize that a fish splashed it. Try to watch that next time. Switch, I'm gonna switch my intermediate line here in a minute, but don't need to. I took it out of gear. Oh, sorry, Jake, I left it in gear. Chicken fish took me to the backing. I wonder if it's a bigger fish. Definitely a bigger fish, Jake. Like a fish. <laughs> I got that on the camera too. You got him? You got him. Oh yeah, here's a solid fish. Not a keeper, but. Warm up. Oh yeah, you beast. You big body beast. What do you think? 26. <clears throat> ah, neither one of us is right. At least 23. We've been catching so many little ones. Thank you, fish. Right there, 11 o'clock. You can reach that fish. Got him. Want to enter? No. Oh, fight me, baby! Fight me! Man, this fish is strong. This fish has something so big in his belly. What is? Uh, yeah. he's got a seagull in there. I'm starting to wonder if this was a blue fish. It's fighting so hard. How big was that one? You tape them?
shout that thing too. Twenty one and a half. Wait a minute, Jake, wait a minute, where am I? Alright, I'm okay. That just scared the shit out of me. See that right there? That's that nine foot rock. I thought it was Katoom. Katoom I can't go over. I can go over that one. I want to share with you uh, one tip while I'm always on the water. Is I always have a saying, I keep my head on a swivel. So there's a couple reasons for that. Number one, for safety reasons. If I'm around reefs or areas where there's shallow water, other boats, I'm always watching to see what's going on around me. So obviously I'm not gonna drift into an area that's gonna put us in danger. But most importantly, you'll probably see it in a lot of the videos is I'm constantly scanning my head back and forth and I'm looking for fish or any kind of activity in the surface, whether it's bait, birds, whatever it may be, anything that turns me on to see that there's feeding fish in an area. So good idea, always pay attention to what you're doing. I can't tell you how many times I go out there and I see guys running over fish because they don't even know that they're there because they're not paying attention. So pay attention to what's going on all the time. much thanks for playing yeah you're all in them come on fish boil on that thing Yeah. Yeah, yes. 21 and a half. Jake, money. Ah, the little guy. Very the last few. Awesome. Man, this is doing dogging. Man, a bunch of fish on the bottom, dude. Sucker was strong, let me tell you. Twenty-eight 
20. I right, hope you enjoyed this video. There's actually a part two of this because um, we caught so many fish, couldn't fit it in all one video. And then the next video is was one of probably one of my favorite fishing experiences ever. We did have to deal with some heavy rolling seas, two footers out there, fish were everywhere. Oh man, it was awesome. I had a blast. I still uh, I still have memories of it to this minute. But hope you enjoy that one. Stay tuned for it. It'll come out next Sunday, and uh, see you then. Thanks.